Hi, I'm Maddie Harlan from Permaculture Magazine and just, uh, just over a week ago we caught a swarm in our garden and we filmed it for you and some of the people who watched the film loved it and said please would you give us an update so here we are in towards the end of May it's only been about nine ten days ago since the swarm went into the little nuke box behind me and already when I checked the box earlier in the week most of the frames have been drawn out with wax the bees are laying there's five frames actually in this little box the bees are lay the queen bee is laying uh, eggs and there's tons and tons of honey going in and we haven't fed the bees this is just nature doing its work so my, my concern is it's the hottest day of the year, there's not a lot of ventilation in this little box with a tiny entrance and it's a strong colony. And also these five frames that I'm going to show you are actually pretty much full. So I want to put the colony into a bigger beehive um, which will give them more room, it will give them some empty frames to fill up and draw out with wax and then produce stores and the beehive that we're going to put it in is actually underneath the nuke hive and every night we've come up and we've moved the hive just three feet and the idea of this is that if you have a swarm that you're only moving under three miles you either um, take it outside the three mile zone or you only move it three foot a day and that allows a bee colony to adjust to the move and they orientate themselves fascinatingly and obviously by the sun because bees are all about sunshine and flowers And already they stuck the top well down. Gonna give them a little smoke, which they didn't really like. And then I'm gonna take the least congested frame out from the side. And already you'll see the beautiful bees that have drawn out both sides and they're actually putting stores onto that frame so this, this little nuke box is full to capacity and if you don't move them they swarm so again here's a lovely frame all beautifully drawn out with honey This is a bit of a damaged frame. I'm hoping that, yeah, we've already got drone brood on here. And I'm just checking for swarm cells. The lovely bees. As you can see, there's a bit of race comb. I'm not going to muck these bees about. But incredible brood pattern there. So this little queen is full to capacity. Now that's a broken frame. So ordinarily I would have put that brood frame in the middle. But I'm going to try and get it to the side and get it out of the colony. There's a little bit of pollen in this one and already they've got cat stores of honey and again absolutely packed with nectar this is a really lovely lovely hive
Now the risk is with doing this is that you've got a queen in here. So I'm having a good look to make sure that there's no queen in here. I'm going to have to shake these bees out. There's certainly no queen here. So we're going to pop the board on them. And what I want to see Soon, our bees running into the hive so they can smell the queen. smoke that was gentle as good as gold. And there we have it. So already the bees that were on this lid have come off so I'm going to set that to one side. I'm going to leave this little nuke here for a while until they get orientated and they realise already we've got at least one or two bees with their little bottoms in the air signalling that the queen is in here and this is where they need to go. They've got a lovely big entrance. Whereas on with this little nuke box, it was a very small entrance. So we're just going to leave them in peace and uh, get them to take their their stores from from the box. There's only tiny little bits of brace comb. Leave them in peace. Come back and check them later. Take the box away. And that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, Permaculture Magazine. And press the notification bell and you'll hear more about bees and permaculture and forest gardening and all sorts of other rich and positive ways of living in a regenerative way in our funny, strange old world. So I hope you stay well and just enjoy a few shots of the wildflower meadow today as we finish up. Thanks for watching.